Hi, my name is Julie Hanahan, and I am a stylist and the owner of Magnolia Salon in Winter Park, Florida. This is Riley, my daughter, and what we're going to show for you is a way to cut curly hair and a few easy steps on how to take care of curly hair. So we wanted you to see her hair before we wet it um, and see her beautiful natural curls um, that tend to get really knotted and, and mat up. So we're going to show you what conditioner to use and how to cut her hair to best suit curly hair. Now we've washed her hair and wet it. And it's really crucial with curly hair that you treat it and prep it right when you're washing it and conditioning it um, or you'll be, have a problem the whole day. So with Riley, we use on her um, the Redkins Fresh Curl Shampoo, um, which is a great way to help define her curls. And when she immediately dry, gets out of the shower, we add into her hair a Fresh Curls Refiner, which is a great way to defrizz curly hair. It's heavy. It helps to hold some of the top layer down that tends to swell out and frizz. Um, and then we put on it, this is called Curlwise, the number 14 from Redken. Um, we're going to put this in before we cut her hair. And what the Curlwise does is it helps to then hold her hair and hold their curls all day. Whereas the Curl Refiner softens it and defrizzes it. Sometimes if you put too many softening products in without a hold item, it'll then frizz it up because it's too soft. Um, the last item we have, which is a great thing to have on hand if you have a curly hair child, this is called BioSilk for Kids. It's a spray and detangler that has a little bit of BioSilk in it, so it really helps to smooth out curly hair or to reapply throughout the day if their hair starts to frizz out. Um, so for Riley, we want to give her, she likes her hair to be at about a bob length, um, so we're going to go ahead and, and trim, trim it up for her. Uh, the, the biggest thing to know when you're cutting curly hair is that it shrinks up about an inch and a half to two inches from wherever you cut it. So it's very crucial to make sure as you're cutting that you're constantly moving their hair around to ensure that you're seeing the, the, the natural fall, the curl pattern. Because um, that happens all the time where people will put too much tension on each section and then their hair is much, much shorter than you want it to be. Especially in the humidity. So first we're going to create our length on her. Okay, so when you're creating the length on curly hair, you can see as we touch it and move it around, it starts to curl up. So what I'm going to do is create the length that I want all the way around, but what I'm not going to do is pull down her hair and create any type of tension because then it's going to spring all the way up. So we're just kind of getting where we want it, combing it out nice and straight, but before I cut it, I'm loosening it up to see where it'll fall to know how much I'm taking off. So now that I've kind of adjusted or felt how much shrinkage she's going to have in her hair, we know what to take off. So we're just going to create the length first. Put your head down a little bit. And again, always go back and shake it up and make sure it's the where, where you want it. And her hair, because it's ringlets and not wavy, it's still going to shrink up about an inch to two inches once it's dry. So you have to make sure you keep a mental note of that as you're cutting it. Now because we're doing a bob on her, I am taking circular sections all the way around her head. And now that we have our guide in the bottom, we're going to take vertical sections because I do want the bottom of her hair to have a little bit of stacking to it. And we're going to have a traveling guide. Your head straight. Which just means that we're not going to over direct our hair to the, to the front. Our guide's going to move around with us. And the whole time we're doing it, we're stopping with each section, and I'm just going to shake up her hair to make sure that we don't get too short. And when you cut in a vertical section with curly hair, it also takes the triangular shape away. Curly hair typically gets a very triangle shape, 
um, especially when you do a haircut towards the shoulders. So when you're cutting your hair vertically, it starts to take the width out from the chin to the neck. So that kind of deflates it and doesn't make that typical triangle shape that curly hair gets. So we cut all around um, the back portion of Riley's head the same way we did vertical sections, the traveling guide, all the way to the front. Once we got to the front, we want to make sure we leave it a little bit longer in the front, which also helps to create the, the style to flatten out a bit and not be an A-shaped bob. So we left the front pieces, when we went before her ear, we pulled those back and we, and we over direct them to the back section. So when it comes forward, you have a little bit of length left in the front. So now when we cut the front, the, per, the um, interior of the hair in the front, this is where we're going to use what's called the traveling guide, which just means we're going to over direct all of the sections back to the round, to the behind her ears. And the purpose for that is, is that we don't want to put a lot of layer around her face because that's where her hair is a little finer and it will frizz. So we want to make sure we keep some weight so her curls stay longer in the front. And anytime you cut hair on a di with a diagonal like that, which just means that we're kind of diagonally forward. It helps to round out the shape, and again, we're just really focusing on taking away or not allowing her hair to become triangular, which is really common with curly hair. One of the worst things you can do is cut hair on their face too short, and then you get really tiny little curls in the front. Of course, unless they want that. So now when this falls forward, You can see that her angle is coming this way with the whole haircut. And that's just creating a little bit of softness to take some of the, the triangle shape away without making her feel too thick or full. So once we're done, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the fresh curls because her hair is starting to dry and you really should not run your fingers through or touch curly hair too much as it's drying because that will separate the curls and make it frizz. So then when we're done with our haircut, I'm just gonna scrunch the curl refiner in her hair. And Riley, do you remember what's the one thing we don't do with curly hair? No. Never brush it once it's dry. So we're just gonna let her hair air dry with the curl refiner. And that's it.